my toilets cooler than yours. We changed out a toilet flange here because, well, we changed the toilet and we realized there was a crack or a break. The metal wasn't done right. It had rotted out. We had to replace the whole thing. But cool thing that we realized or thought about later is we probably could have run a smoke test on it and seen if we got smoke out from under the bowl. Now we've changed this out, so we're not going to have this problem this time, but we are going to go ahead and run a smoke test. If you've got a bathroom that you're getting sewer smell in, your P traps are not dry. There's nothing wrong around your toilet. You don't look around, and see any water on the floor or anything like that. It's very well. You could have a bad bowl wax, a bad flange, anything like that. Did your toilet rock for a long time and then maybe you just wedged it or something? There's a lot of things that can make it quit happening. But having a smoke test is one way to see if you're getting sewer gases in your house. Because if there's a seal not happening, if something's not working right, well, guess what? <coughs> you're going to get those sewer smells. Smoke test will help show that immediately. So let's go outside and let's run a smoke test and see what kind of problems we can find. Hey there guys, I just wanted to take a moment and let you know about my sponsor Jobber. They exist to help small home service businesses be more successful. Jobber will have you covered from the customer's initial request to the moment you're paid. Using the scheduling feature in Jobber has helped save time and money for my business. If you want Jobber to start helping your home service business run smoothly for you and your customers, go to go.getjobber.com slash Roger Wakefield, where you can get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first six months. Whatever you do, please don't send the fire department. No, seriously. I know there's a lot of smoke. No, please don't send the fire department. Okay, if you're doing a smoke test, this needs to be your first call. You need to call the city or cities. See, right across the street from me is a whole nother city. So what I've done, I've notified the city that I'm in and the city across the street that we're gonna do a smoke test. The reason you wanna do this, you don't want any of the neighbors around to look out and see smoke billowing out of your vent pipes and then they call the fire department and the fire department wants to know why they're wasting their time coming out to see you, well, when they could be eating lunch. And this is a good thing about Superior Signal. They've got cars that you can notify people with that you can hang out and let people know what's going on. It's a good thing for us because people driving by, you know, they may see the smoke and call the fire department, but hopefully they see the cameras and understand we're actually doing something. I'm gonna unbox this because I wanna show y'all something cool. Now, Y'all have seen what I've done before. Superior Signal Company out of New Jersey, of course they manufacture the smoke blower. Now, I'm gonna set this down here because they've done something cool with it. Now, as I go through my unboxing here, of course, we've got our hose. And I love this. Make sure you get all your peanuts out of it. They pack everything where when you get it, it comes in great condition, it's safe, you don't have any problems. Now. I want you to look at this pack and slip. Do you, do you see that? I mean, really, do you see, do you see what all I've got here? I'll tell you what, I'll explain that to you in a minute. All right, now here we go. Now I want to try to keep as much of the peanuts down in the box as I can. Just because I don't want them all over the yard. So we get everything unwrapped, peanuts stay in the box. No, whoop. They love peanuts. All right, I don't see any down inside the unit, so I'm not worried about it there. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, now, did, did y'all, did you? No, never mind. And this is where the fun is. So these are two boxes of candles. Now, this is phenomenal. You've got the Superior Smoke 1A, 4,000 cubic feet of smoke in 30 seconds. 4,030 seconds. 8,000 cubic feet of smoke in 60 seconds. This is the 2B. But here's what's cool. Okay, see the adapter here? I can hook this up to a 12 volt battery, y'all. But not just that. Look what we have here. You got a Milwaukee battery? 
I've got the Milwaukee connector. You got a Ryobi battery? I got the Ryobi connector. You got a Makita battery? I got the Makita connector. You got a Bosch? I got the Bosch. You got the Walt? We got you covered. Oh wait, Roger, I don't have any of those. I have Rigid, you know what? We got the Rigid adapter. Do you see this? How many times have you been out on a job and your battery dies? Well, what if your battery was dead and you needed one of these? Well, you've got a different tool. Well, guess what? They make adapters for each and every one of these. There's no reason not to have these on your van if you ever go out to do a smoke test. Think about this. I could run a 100 foot extension cord from the front porch over here, or I could just say, hey, I got a DeWalt charger with me, so guess what? I got a DeWalt battery. Now, I have power right there ready to go. This is cool. So we've got the power source solved. Let's get this thing plugged in. I just wanna show you how well this works. Now, when you set this up, you wanna stand it upright because your candle is gonna go right down here. But here's what I wanna show you. Turn it off. Plug it in. Now, guess what? We can move smoke. Now, this is pretty cool. All this, and I never had to get out a cord or anything. So, let's go ahead and hook it up. Let's get a plug in here. We wanna make sure that none of the smoke goes down towards the city and starts coming up in the street or in neighbor's houses, and I have seen that before. But we're gonna get in here, get everything set up, turn this on and put some smoke on the house. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hose ready to go on. I wanna keep my bubble wrap because I wanna protect everything so when I put it back in the box, I'm good to go. I've got a hose clamp right here. So I'm gonna loosen this up, slide it on over here. I love this rubber type gasket. I can put it on here, snug it up. It's not going anywhere. Now, with the battery pack, I can move this around and put it wherever I want. What I'm gonna do right now is slide this out of the way because I'm gonna reach in here and pull my gym cap off. I'm gonna run my test ball and I wanna make sure that I can get in there and see where it goes, but I wanna get it down in there so the smoke doesn't come back to the city. So, let's get in there and take a peek. All right, so where I've got this now, I pushed it in where it just went into the combination. I'm gonna put some air on it and fill it up. That'll keep the smoke from coming this way. And I can kind of bounce a little bit just to get it down a little bit further because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my smoke in on the other side and then I can go up and watch it come out the vents. I can go through the house, check everything to see if I have it coming out. Now, if I have a sewer smell in there anywhere, I wanna go there first. I don't wanna just fill the house up with a ton of smoke and it's real easy to get on the phone and call out here and tell somebody, hey, pull the fan, turn the fan off, that way it'll quit blowing smoke in and just let it dissipate into the air. So let's air this up and get this thing going. All right, everything's good. I'm looking at my pressure. It's not going down. I'm just under 40 PSI. And to be honest, I'm not gonna have this here very long, so I'm gonna leave that there. So now what I'm gonna do is run my hose into the other inlet. And then I'll get over there, stick it down in the hole, and we'll be ready to add smoke. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down in here. Now, I'll put a little tape around it just to seal it off because I want the smoke to go down in there and not come out around here. So literally, that's all I want, nothing major. Now, if, it, if this was three inch, I could put this down around it and it would force it down inside there. So I'm ready to go. Let's get this thing smoked up. All right, so I'm gonna open up this new package of candles. Now we are going the number two B, 8,000 cubic feet of smoke in 60 seconds. So we're gonna get a good long burn on this. This will give us time. This is a, a pretty good sized house. We wanna make sure the smoke gets all the way through the house and out the vents. So we're gonna set that back over here out of the way. 
Now, when you set this down, you want to look smoke issues from here. So we want this to come up because we're going to lay this here. We want the smoke to come up and go directly into the fan. So that gives me my fuse right here. Smoke coming up right there. I'm kind of bending it out to the side. I don't want to burn my box, make it look ugly. All right, let's light this puppy up. Houston, we got fire. All right, now it gets down. Now watch it. I'm turning on my fan now. Look at the smoke coming out of it. All right, so I've got smoke coming up out of it here. I'm gonna go walk through the house and see if there's anything at all smoking and you'll see smoke coming out the vents. We got 60 seconds, let's go. I'm in my bathroom. Is it really? Yep. Did you not? So as you see, the Superior Smoke 5E Flex is new and improved. I love the battery mounts. I mean, think about this. How much time and money can it save you from stringing out extension cords, having to roll them all back up? What if the power doesn't work? What if there's a GFCI? What if you get there and this is a house that has no services to it? You still need to be able to check to see, are there any problems? I love the battery packs. I love the magnetic hookup for them. It's right there, it doesn't move. We could have used a little bit longer test ball hose today. Cherney, gonna to talk to you about that. But, man, this is fantastic. This is something a lot of people are afraid to do. We ran three smoke bombs in there. As you can see, in the upstairs bathroom, there is something. What we will end up doing on that, we will end up coming back and running a camera down the vent to see if we can see a breakage, a separation. Maybe the freaking electricians drilled a hole in it, ran a wire through it. I promise you, I've seen that one before. But anyway, Superior Smoke, what another great product. This makes it easy for plumbers to come in and do a safe, secure job. Guys, if you're a plumber, if you're a plumbing company owner, remember, don't get yourself in trouble. Call the local fire department, let them know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how long you'll be doing it. We had to let two cities know, the city I live in and the city across the street. But the good thing is, We've been here about 25, 30 minutes. Nobody's called the fire department yet. Or if they have, they haven't showed up. So I'm gonna take all this back apart, put it back together. If there's anything you wanna know about, do me a favor, leave me a comment down in here and ask questions. If you do this for a service for your plumbing company, let me know, what do you think about this? If you love this video, check out the other one we did for the smoke test. It was actually pretty cool.